Hey y'all, so today I am in what we kind of call the mud room, but really uh, it's gonna be used as more of a cocktail whiskey room. So you can see behind me that there is lots of original wood in this room, which I love. When we first considered purchasing this house, this is a room that really drew me to the house. I loved the all the original woodwork, uh, the very masculine feel of this room, and so, this is also a room that I've been thinking on what I wanted to do with it for quite some time now since we moved in. And I was moving some boxes, Tommy and I were moving some boxes from the garage apartment back to the basement. And there was a box of antique apothecary bottles, a collection that I have that I totally forgot that I had. And it just hit me like that. That would be perfect for these shelves because when we moved in, my mom was here. She was helping us just got, kind of get some stuff organized and get some things on the shelf. And this is kind of what we came up with. But I really wanted something that was a little bit more simple that kind of had a study library cocktail room feel. And so when I remembered that I had these apothecary bottles, I was like, that is perfect. That is what is gonna go in the shelves and you can see right up there uh, some leather bound books and I have quite a few more leather bound books. So I'm thinking that the apothecary bottles with the leather bound books will be perfect for this space. So let me just turn around and show you what it looks like. This is a relatively small room. So while I'm working on getting these shelves organized, uh, it'll probably be half of my body just because I don't have a great spot to set up my tripod uh, just because it's relatively small. So let me turn around. Uh, and I'll show you the apothecary bottles and I'll show you the shelves as they are now and we'll get to work on getting them redone. Okay, so here are all the antique apothecary bottles. They're super fun. Some of them still have things in them. It's kind of hard to see there, you can't really read it. But anyways, I've had these for a really long time and I think they're really, really pretty. And so I'm gonna get them set up in these shelves. So this is what they look like. And then let me show you the shelves now. So the shelves now, these are pretty tall. The ceiling is tall, um, probably 12 foot. And so um, all of the woodwork here is original, which is really awesome. I have no idea what used to go here, but I really wish I had that piece. I'm gonna assume that it was kind of like a separator for to distinguish the middle section from the two side sections. I'm not really sure, but regardless, I love this woodwork. And the cabinetry here, it's painted brown. You can see, I do not like it. It matches the wood. Eventually I'll probably uh, repaint that some sort of a dark color, probably a black or something like that, so that everything that's in there really stands out. And I apologize about the light. It's This room gets really good light, uh, but it's kind of hard to film in, really, to be honest with you. This window lets in a lot of light. I do have quite a few plants in here. And these, let me show you these. It's a better view over here. But these... I'm not really sure if these are original. I don't think they are. I did find some of these glass panes in the basement that were in newspaper that was from the late 70s, early 80s. But regardless, I really like them. I think it's kind of fun. You don't see that very often, so I would never change out that glass or anything like that. But that is kind of what we're working with in this room and I think eventually I am going to paint this room into like a moodier, darker color. Uh, like I said, this room gets a lot of light. The ceiling is also wood. Kind of gives it a really like with the original light fixture here, gives it just a, a really library study cocktail room feel. So I've been debating on what color that I want to paint this room, but I'm really not sure. I think uh, a darker blue or a darker purple or something like that would look really pretty, but I'm just not quite sure. So here is the rug that I have down. I have two vintage Desaid Dis chairs, a Mastercraft brass table, and oh, something else. So this to the living room 
has a door. I'm going to be taking that door off. It is not original. The door will be saved, but I am going to be taking that door off. I do not like that there. And then over here on this side, there is a vent. Don't mind this stuff. This still needs to be put up, but there's a vent right there. So I don't like that there's a door there and it's not like it ever gets used, at least for us. So I was thinking about putting a curtain rod across here and having a curtain that can close off this door for this room when like we're sitting in here having a cocktail or something like that. So let me just go ahead and get my camera set up. I'm gonna get everything taken out of the shelves. I might even switch out some art. There's some art in here that I don't really love, but uh, I'm gonna get everything taken out of the shelves. I'm gonna get the other leather bound books that I have and I'm gonna get the shelves dusted and we will get started on putting the apothecary bottles and the books in the shelves. So here's a good shot of the empty cabinets. You can see that it was just painted to match the color of the wood. We'll get it painted a dark color. I'll probably get a couple samples and see what I think about black. It'll be a pretty easy project, but we'll see what color I end up going with. I think I need something that will make everything in here pop versus just kind of blend in with the cabinets. Okay, so here are the books, just old leather bound books that I picked up uh, randomly at estate sales or vintage stores when I can find them. Uh, relatively cheap. And I feel like in the last couple of years, leather bound books have gotten really, really expensive and uh, a little bit harder to find. But anyways, these are going to go on the shelves and I will set up my camera and hopefully we'll get all these shelves styled and looking good. <laughs> So I know this looks like a mess. And again, I apologize for the light quality. It's This is a really hard room to film. And once the sun and the lighting is better, I'll turn the light on probably this afternoon and give a full tour of this little room. But I wanted to show you the process. And so uh, this Mastercraft table right here, I really love it. Um, I think it's a little big for this area. So I do have these two little nesting tables that I think I will try to swap the Mastercraft table out for those really quick and see what that looks like. Okay, I'm not really sure um, what I think about it. I think I'm just so used to the Mastercraft table being here and taking up way more space that I, I think the scale is better as far as these nesting tables go, but I don't have much surface area to really put anything on. And I've switched this out before and I just immediately switched it back. But the, these are cool tables. These are like a an old wood with brass corners. And I really, if you know what era this is or who made these tables, I guess. Let me know, I would be really curious. Found them at a local antique store and they were a great price. So I knew I had to have them because they could be used almost anywhere. So gosh, I don't know. I don't know if I like these tables or not. Okay, so right now I'm gonna film with the doors open just because there's so much glare 
from the light on these glass doors. But this is kind of what I'm working with. It's neutral uh, like I wanted. So honestly, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me get this open. That one's a little bit sticky. Again, I'll show all of this in better lighting, but that is where I've gotten at this point. Okay, so here's a little bit better of a view with the light not being so harsh. The nesting tables are already growing on me. Um, this is a copper sculpture, a nude that my mom got me. Um, I'm not really sure. I don't remember exactly where she got it, but this stand, I had a piece of art on, but I do like that nude there. Uh, I just need to get a shorter easel for it. I usually order some from Amazon, but I want to get kind of a prettier one for that location since it will be exposed. And then here is the shelving that I did earlier. Just a little shot of the underneath with the lights on. And then let me go back here and open these back up. Really looking forward to painting these shelves. Not sure when I'll get around to it. Uh, it'll be a super simple, quick project when I do, but. So yeah, that is it. Uh, I've been needing to get this room put together for quite a while now. And I think it is starting to become the study slash whiskey room that we are wanting it to be. So here's a shot too of the shades that I got at Goodwill a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, that's it. At least for now, you know, it'll change consistently. And as it does, I will definitely keep you guys posted. That is all that I have for this video. I hope that uh, this video was interesting for you all. It's kind of another shelf video and as we get more settled into the house i'll continue uh to work on some of the shelves we have a whole nother set of shelves built-ins in the spare room that i also need to work on uh the spare is just kind of taking the back burner because i'm trying to get some other stuff done but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one bye